Hi, this is a review of a Google Maps mobile on a Nokia 5130 Express Music. So let's start up the application. But before we do that, let's check on the my current data and so that later we can compare uh, the amount of data used for this uh, Google Maps mobile. data counter so as you can see the send data is a uh, 424 kilobyte and uh, receive data is 2298 uh, kilobyte or 2.3 megabyte so let's click back so let if you have not download this application you can go to uh, you can download this application through the internet uh, you go to the browser which launch a uh, Opera Mini. So as you can see here, uh, okay. So you go uh, Google, Google GM. No, this one. Okay, this Google.com GMM. So now I'm connecting to the internet. I'm running this one on a uh, GPRS. Uh, this one has no T 3G. As you can see, if Google is smart enough. It will prompt you to install the software, which uh, suit the uh, your operating system of this phone, which is a uh, Symbian uh, S uh, 40. So since I've already downloaded, I just uh, escape from this one. So uh, let's launch the application. Once you have installed the application, which is uh, about a uh, 500 kilobyte, but once installed, you end up like a. Uh, uh, 1.2 uh, megabyte. So uh, the default installation folder is under the games. So as you can see here, Google Maps. So uh, install file is a uh, 1.2 uh, megabyte. So uh, we we'll launch this uh, application. Okay, now launching Google Maps version 2.3.2. Okay, we we'll ask you whether you need to allow network access. So as you can see on the top right corner, there's a uh, uh, data counter okay so by default it will by default it will bring you to the Malaysia menu because I'm in Malaysia so uh, I can zoom out when you click the menu here so there's a few keys here including satellite view uh, traffic uh, forever when you click zoom you can see that uh, Type 3 to uh, zoom in and want to zoom out. So I just click back. I want to zoom out. So uh, it's quite fast the loading. And uh, so far 18 kilobyte has been uh, loaded or the data has been used. So I will demonstrate how to set a, how to set a direction. I mean how to set a travel path. So let's say I zoom in again. So uh, let's say I want to go from here. I click here. Get directions. Okay, start point. I click a start point. So uh, select point on the map. Okay, so uh, select a start point. So now start point. So I have to select an end point. Select point on the map. So I go to the. I go to just somewhere. Let's zoom out first. So. So you see the loading is actually uh, quite fast. Uh, okay, let's say I want to go here, then I zoom in. So wait for it to load for a while. Okay, let's say I select an endpoint. Okay, now I do is show direction. So far, ninety nine kilobyte has been used. So it will show a direction, a uh, a list of directions. Okay, if you click, you can also get a point on map. Yes, point on map. So you zoom in, low or low on memory. Okay, you show the direction point to point six back to the road. Okay, so let's say I go next. You go here. Let's zoom in further. 
so far 110 kilobyte has been loaded so I click 6 next so next so as you can see it will bring you from a point to another point okay alright so there's another feature uh, which is a newly launched uh, let's clear the map okay Uh, help. Okay, this this my location is a newly launched uh, service provided by Google, but when I click, it seems that uh, it's not supported. Either this uh, this Google Maps mobile for S forty does not support this, or or maybe the Malaysia map or Malaysia does not support this. Okay, so uh, let's zoom out. So let's go to a new place and see how fast it launched. Okay, this is a new place which is not inside my cache. So it'll take a while to to load up the, the map. So zoom in. So it's really convenient having the counter on the top right hand side so you can see uh, what's the data that you have used. So you can see the loading is actually quite fast. See if I can zoom further in. And the data transfer is not really as bad as I thought. So, so it's quite okay.